So as you all know, yesterday I turned 42 and I do have to admit that the day didn't start off like that bad, but it definitely was not a day I was looking forward to or a birthday I was looking forward to. Obviously, you know, with getting older and being a woman, uh, we get to look forward to so many great, new and exciting, wonderful things. Ladies, anybody over 35, honestly, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. The list can include things like a variety of health and lifestyle challenges women might experience, including, but of course not limited to, menopause, uh, and with it brings hormonal changes leading to symptoms like hot flashes, experiencing often lately, mood swings, feel like I experience them every day, and sleep disturbances every single night. I have not had a good night's sleep in a very long time. Then there's bone health, and not to mention postmenopausal women are at a higher risk of osteoporosis, so that's a fun thing to look forward to. Heart health concerns and the risk of heart disease increases with age, and women over 40 should be mindful of cardiovascular health including blood pressure and cholesterol levels. And a pain point I think we might face at any age includes weight management. <laughs> but as we age, our metabolism tends to slow down, making weight management more challenging. So I personally need to adjust my diet and exercise routine accordingly for where I am now when it comes to how my metabolism works. I'm sorry, the dog wants some love. Hi, Maxi Poo. There's somebody out in our hallway here at the apartment doing some work, filling in some holes in the ceiling where they cut stuff out for fire, the fire department. I don't know exactly what was going on in the hallway, but they are now fixing it. So all the little noises, this one, I can't decide if he is a scaredy dog and he needs me to keep him safe or if he's being loud and, and next to me right now because he thinks he's keeping me safe. Either way, we will keep each other safe, right, Maxi Poo? I would say bark yes, but I've been telling you for the past hour to quit barking. So you're not allowed to bark yes. Um, but unfortunately, listen, uh, the elephant in the room being breast health, regular breast screenings and mammograms are now crucial for early detection of breast cancer. Uh, at 42, I will now be getting my mammograms as often as possible. I have not had one. I need to get them. Breast cancer has happened in my family for numerous women. So it is very important that I get checked and all women because with the New concerns of, you know, cancer for one in two people, according to the government, it, it's, it's important to get everything checked, right? It doesn't stop there, unfortunately, because there's also a risk of challenging changes associated with women's reproductive health and how our fertility declines and women may face challenges in conceiving if still trying to or planning on growing their family, especially after a certain age. It turns out, which I wasn't aware of, that after 40, I believe it's 40, if you become pregnant, it is considered a geriatric preg pregnancy. I don't like that phrasing. I'm just gonna put it out there. I'm not a fan of that phrasing. Meanwhile, other hormonal changes and hormonal function, uh, fluctuations can affect skin elasticity, leading to changes in skin appearance and the development of wrinkles. Now, I have a lot of them. I have a ton of wrinkles, but it's also because I make a lot of faces. I have so many laugh lines and brow furrows from honestly the past two years working here on this channel, doing all the deep dives and digging and dot connecting. It makes me do this very often. I'm sorry, I'll put my arm down. I don't know what that's about. Um, but so I have wrinkles and lack of skin elasticity and all kinds of fun stuff happening. And we're blaming it on age. That's exactly what we're doing. So vision changes or presbyopia, which is a condition where your eyes lose the ability to focus on close objects, which becomes more common with age. You notice I've been wearing my glasses every single day. I still have contacts, but my prescription has changed. It has gotten a little bit uh, blinder, if you will. So my contacts are not as strong as my glasses now. So I'm saving them for when I just cannot wear glasses or don't want to like down at the beach because Tried to wear my glasses one day when it was very, very windy out and the amount of sand on them, it's not good. I'm not trying to ruin them, but the older you get, I feel like the worse your eyesight gets. Uh, don't forget though about the dreaded joint pain and arthritis and joint issues becoming more prevalent and causing discomfort and reduced mobility. I know a lot of people deal with that right now, the joint issues and arthritis, uh, especially people who I'm going to say in the probably... I'm, I'm, go, I'm, I'm generalizing here in the 60s, 70s, 80s range, especially women, because back in the day, there was a lot of uh, the, the, the main jobs a lot of women could get 
when women really jumped into the workforce, were as secretaries and things like that, with a lot of typing on typewriters before the computers and things like that. So now you see a lot of women with carpal tunnel issues or with just really bad arthritis when it comes to fingers and, and hands and wrists and even elbows, everything like that. So I think women deal with that probably more than men do. I could be wrong. I'm not basing that on fact. It's just basing it off people I know in certain age ranges, men and women. I feel like women deal with joint pain and arthritis more than men. Now, understandably, obviously, we're not all the same, and some of us will experience lots of differences as we get old slash older. The beauty of how God created us all to be different and unique, but it's important to note that regular medical checkups, a healthy lifestyle, and proactive health management can contribute to a better quality of life as we women age, which is why having medical insurance is such a big deal for a lot of people, but also it's so incredibly expensive right now that it's so hard for many Americans to stay on top of their health because the cost of health insurance is absolutely ridiculous on top of everything else that we're dealing with. But hopefully people are finding ways to still get whatever checkups they may need, or if they've noticed things that may be feeling different or, or wrong or whatever, that they are finding ways or somebody to go see and talk to about those kind of things with insurance or not. It's important that we pay attention to our bodies, ladies, men as well. Now, another common issue we may face as we grow older includes a health issue that not only impacts just women, but men too. Just gonna, this could be, I'll, I'll put it out there, it could be a trigger for some people. So just a heads up, um, it, is, it is quite possibly, mo most importantly, our mental health and how life changes and other factors can contribute to mental health is issues such as depression and anxiety. I don't wanna spark any, you know, cause for alarm or concern or anything here, not just for myself, but Kevin, my husband also. We've both had to face our fair share of virtual wellness checks here lately. Kevin has even gone as far as making modifications and major cha major changes to his channel on YouTube, Kevin247. If you guys have seen his channel, he's made some major changes lately uh, in life overall as a result of these virtual wellness checks we're having to do. But there's good news here, and I'm, I'm actually really excited to share this with you. So while it also extremely overwhelmed by kind of what just happened, I'll try to control how I bring this to you and share it with you. The reason I want to share this with you, though, and I... Even in the back of my mind, I have my notes typed out, but even in the back of my mind, I'm thinking that unfortunately there's going to be some people who are going to take this and be mean about it. And I'm, I'm really hoping that's not the case. But the reason I want to share this with you is because you are my tribe. I tell you guys how much I love you because I, I consider us a family, the Squirrel Tribe family, right? Because we're here to help each other. I do what I can in hopes of helping you guys, whether it is with news, food, you know, emotional stuff, whatever. And you guys give help back in the comment section. You help not just me, but everybody else that is watching the videos and reading the comments. I feel like we're our own community here that it's designed for us to help each other instead of, you know, hinder each other from growing and learning and achieving greatness and understanding how to take care of things and what to do to keep our family safe in the times that we're in, right? So the reason I want to share this, because uh, what it's what happened to me is undeniable, undeniable proof positive. That's how I want to phrase it, okay? And this isn't me. See, I don't, I don't even know how to do this because it's not me trying to... Uh, it sounds, it's going to sound braggy and I don't, I don't want it to. It's just, it's something that somebody has done that it, it changed a lot for me. So let me explain. Last night, uh, we finished Mimosa Monday on the other channel. If you guys were there, thank you for being there for our Mimosa Monday live stream birthday with the cake and the gifts and the everything else. I love y'all. Um, my, uh, my husband was there, Kevin, the kid, my daughter, and then our friend T. And then we went out to eat for my birthday afterwards, like a birthday celebration, we went out to eat, P.F. Chang's, one of my favorite places. But, <laughs> okay, so it was at this moment, y'all, that, oh, we're doing sparkling. Boo, 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 boo. It's your birthday, I'm flammable. It's my birthday. Thank you. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> it was very flammable. Thank yes. you. Yes. Oh, I'm excited. There you go. And Thank happy, you. happy birthday. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Ooh. Gavin. Yeah. How do you make a top? Don't say. Who just dropped what? 
Did you drop something? That's like how you make it stop. No, no it sounds like something oh, you fell. What if it's like the candles where it's gonna start going again randomly? I don't want to say my life was about to change forever because that sounds so cliche, but it was one of those other turning points for me last night. The last time I had one of those was at Vid Summit last year when I when I changed my channel name from what it previously was to the Squirrel Tribe, where I had this just this moment of clarity on what I wanted and who I wanted to be and how I didn't want anything to like hold me back or stop me or or keep me from being 100% authentic myself all the time. And the last couple of days I've just been, I want to say, I don't even want to say in the dumps, but there's, I've, I've let the negativity of YouTube itself and life in general and getting older and all these intrusive negative thoughts really weigh on me way too heavily the last couple of days, last couple of weeks. Um, the things that y y you think to yourself when nobody's around and you, you don't say out loud, those kind of things, everybody deals with them, I think. And unfortunately it got to me a little bit more the last couple of days, last couple of weeks than I wanted to admit to myself. So last night at birthday dinner, I get this notification on my phone and y'all, if you've been here before, you know, not generally am I speechless. I generally can just fly off at any point in time. I always have something to say on every single thing humanly possible. But last night sitting at my dinner celebration with my husband and my daughter and my friend and a restaurant of people, not there for us, they were there for their own families, whatever. It's just the four of us for me. Um, but sitting there with our food and everything else and this notification comes in and it was like, you see in movies where everything falls away and you don't really hear what's going on around you. You don't notice people are talking to you. You're just so incredibly focused on what's in front of you that you, you kind of lost sight of everything else. So the reason I'm saying this to you or telling you guys about this, because it literally left me speechless. I'm, I'm not a sad person. Uh, and I do not have feelings of deep depression. I do want to put that out there, but the uplifting boost to my mood from this it literally, it literally changed my life. And I, again, it sounds so cliche, but I don't know how else to really phrase it. So I looked down at my phone because it vibrated, you know, like a notification. I looked down and literally what I saw to, for me was just truly insane and shocking. And I'm, I'm going to read it to you. Okay. This popped up on my phone. It was a notification that popped up on my phone and I want to read it to you. All right. This was, um, a buy, a buy me a coffee notification. It says, happy birthday, fellow squirrel brain. I'm a small business owner that works roughly 100 hours a week. As you can tell, I don't have a lot of free time at the moment, but I always want to make time to watch you and Kevin every day. Even if I have to fall asleep to your videos to help y'all with your views, I watch them on my TV, LOL. I just wanted to let you know this small detail about myself because I want to make sure you understand how much you matter. Y'all. Hold on. <clears throat> Look, I don't know if it's okay. I've just been like extra emotional the last couple days, but to have somebody say, <clears throat> make sure you understand how much you matter. I feel like enough people don't get to hear that. So I'm going to stop reading this for a second, just to remind every single person out there, how much you matter. You may forget it. You may not think about it. You may not see it, but somebody out there sees it. Somebody out there knows how much you matter and you need to also know how much you matter. So that was the moment where like literally that, that one line, please make sure you understand how much you matter. It was, it was like I was in this just cocoon of emotion while I was reading this thing. Let me finish it. It says, you're amazing and you make a difference in this world. I hope your new year of life is as awesome as you are. Please, please, please go treat yourself with this. I know you need a break. I can see it in your eyes. Go have a Michelle day and get a massage, your hair done, nails done, 200 mimosas or whatever your heart desires. You earned this. There's enough to bring the kid or Kevin along with you if you'd like. Keep aging like fine wine, boo, and let those haters age like milk. I love you, my dudes, and thank you for everything you do. This is from Jess. And Jess, because I know you're, I'm sure you're watching. Um, I just want to say that you literally are, you, you made a massive impact. Um, <clears throat> please hold. 
Your words made a massive impact and I thank you and I love you and I appreciate you immensely. So, oh, I'm good. I'm fine. I'm good. Whew. We're going to woos off for a second. So again, when I said that I was speechless and did not know what to say, no exaggeration, you all know how much I can run my mouth. Like I said, legitimately speechless. So thank you, Jess. You did not have to do what you did. I appreciate you more than you can possibly know because I know how hard you are working for every dollar that you get and to send 200 mimosas. I, I don't even, I don't even, yeah. It, it is not a kind of generosity that I would ever expect. And I am beyond grateful for you. Thank you so much. Just so you know, uh, thank you everybody else for all the comments, the mimosas, the emails, the packages, Jamie, thank you for my books you sent. I appreciate you all immensely yesterday, seeing all of the happy birthday wishes and everything else literally helped me get out of the, the weird funk that I was in for the day. And then just, just I mean, to the moon, like I don't even, I still, <laughs> still. So I want to say that, uh, the love and connection that I feel from you guys each and every day on all the channels, videos, live streams I publish. It is true. I love you immensely. And I know you guys love me and it is an amazing feeling. So thank you for being part of the squirrel tribe. You, I mean, without y'all, it's just a squirrel. <laughs> there is no tribe without you guys. So thank you for, for making everything here what it is. Cause without you, it's just a chick with a camera and a microphone talking to herself. And I appreciate you all immensely. Um, I will bring you a traditional video next. I promise you, but I just really wanted to talk to you today and say, thank you. You all are what is good and decent in this world. And I'm so happy God allowed us to find each other. Squirrel tribe. I love y'all and you matter. Have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.